We are looking to find the determinant of this one. This is a 3 by 3 matrix. And we're going to find the determinant using our calculators. With this one, we're going to use the TI Inspire. And we can do this one by hand, but it's much easier if we can just plug it into our calculator. So let me pull up our calculator here. Uh, in our calculator, we're going to enter in this exact matrix into our calculator. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a, uh, a great setting where I can display the calculator and the problem at the same time, so I'm going to do the best I can here. There we go, somewhere close there. Okay, what we're looking for is we need to create this matrix, and the matrix button is right next to, right here you have this book one right here, the one next to it is your matrix button. So we're going to go to that one, we're going to pull it up, and it gives you, um, you can do fractions, this is where you put in all of your logs, we've done those before. You look down here and you see these uh, matrices here, these options. This one's a 3x3, three three, which is nice. That's what this one was. If you have a different form, this will allow you to change it as well. So you want to select this one, okay? So that's the one that I have there, so I'm just going to hit Enter. And then it will ask number of rows and columns. This one is a 3x3, three three, so I'm okay. If you need to change it, then change it. Go up or down here, depending on which one you have. When you're done, hit OK. This creates a 3x3 three three matrix. Now what I'm going to do is input in each one of these numbers into their correct location. So the first one is a 2. And the way that we move throughout a matrix here on the calculator is just by hitting the tab button. Uh, every time you type in a number, just hit tab. And I'm just filling all of this information in right now. Okay, we'll check to make sure that I entered all those in correctly. I did. I'm okay. Okay, so now that we have our matrix, I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. That way we can try to have a little bit better view on what we're doing here. Okay, so I've got my matrix here, and we're looking to find the determinant on this one. And when we're finding the determinant, the way that we'll do that into our calculator is it's got a shortcut. It's called the DET for determinant. So right before this uh, matrix, we're going to write DET. So we use our little pad here. Notice how these are italicized, meaning it doesn't understand what we're wanting. And as soon as we hit the T, then it becomes uh, straight up and down, not italicized, meaning it understands it's one of its pre-programmed functions on this calculator. Now if you hit enter right here, it's going to say that we're missing a parenthesis. So you just hit OK. So you're going to go over here right after the T, right in between the T and the matrix, we're going to add a parenthesis. And the TI Inspire is nice because as soon as you add the first one, it will add your last one. Then you just hit enter. And it says the determinant on this one was 17. So we go back here, and then our answer for this one will simply be 17. So that one worked out really nice. And that's basically all that you're going to do on these, is you're just going to plug these in to the calculator using this is your button right here to input a, ma a new matrix in. Uh, and then you're going to hit DET for determinant. Make sure you have your parentheses, and then just hit enter, and that will give you what the, your determinant is on that particular problem.